I've spent a decent bit of time trading in Fallout 76, both with vendors and with other players. During my time doing this, I've noticed a few things that could be implemented in order to improve the overall trading system, and I figured I'd share my observations and suggestions with all of you. First up is a point I'm sure most of us agree with, give the vendors more caps. Currently, vendors have a caps limit of 200, which is far from a breathtaking amount, and isn't all that difficult to reach if you plan on selling a decent chunk of aid items. On top of this, vendors of the same faction share their caps, meaning that if you sell 200 caps worth of goods to a raider vendor bot, then the next raider vendor you run into will have no caps to trade with. All this really does is highlight the problem further, as it shows that you can't make that many caps from trading compared to completing quests and events. Due to this limit, I've significantly lowered the charisma on my main character, as the points feel unnecessary. I can easily bottom out vendors without a high charisma skill, so why waste the points there? If vendors had a lot more caps, then low charisma players would be able to unload all of their unwanted items with vendors, and high charisma players would be rewarded in that they could actually get a lot of caps from trading various items. Speaking of the items... Item values are all over the place, most specifically with weapons and armour. I just checked a few sale prices for items on my current character. My explosive cryolator is only worth 21 caps, my freestyle gatling laser is worth 47 caps, and a freestyle pull cue sells for a single cap. A single cap. That makes it literally equivalent to a bobby pin. There's a clear disparity in pricing here, as these weapons should be worth a decent chunk, not chump change. On the same character, I could sell each of my stim packs for 6 caps apiece, making that cryolator worth 3.5 stim packs, and the gatling laser worth less than 8 stim packs. That isn't a system that makes sense. I could easily get 1,000 caps apiece for each of those weapons from players, but from a vendor, I can't even get a tenth of that. I theorise that one of the reasons that they have equipment sell prices so low is in order to ensure every item can be sold to a vendor, even with a high charisma character. If you're running 15 charisma with items that boost it too, you'd still want to be able to sell any item you come across, so the most valuable weapon possible would still need to come in at 200 caps or less. This then reinforces my previous point even further. Raise the cap limit, and you can raise the cap's value of legendary items. As a final point on the vendors themselves, I personally feel that we should be able to sell anything to the vendors. Most importantly, ammo. Back in Fallout 4 survival mode, I would often trade ammo with vendors in order to afford chems or junk. Trading ammo I wasn't going to use for ammo I wanted felt realistic as well. It made sense to barter with ammunition, as it's such a valuable commodity post-war. Problem is, we can't do this in Fallout 76, at least not with the vendor bots. Although they're more than willing to sell us ammunition, they're completely unwilling to buy any back from us. Chances are the reason for this is that nothing sells for less than a cap. This means that 200 of any ammo would guarantee to bottom out a vendor. To reiterate myself once again, a higher vendor cap limit would help with this, however they could also make it so that items could be worth less than a cap. Back in Fallout 3, items could be sold for less than a cap, meaning that a surplus of basic ammo didn't break the economy, and rare ammo could still be worth a few caps apiece. It's a pretty simple way to make ammo viable to sell, without also causing more of a problem with ammo being the only thing worth selling. Keep in mind that ammo has weight as well, and it's not like many of us are constantly carrying around tens of thousands of each ammo type with us at all times. Player to vendor trading is all well and good, but Fallout 76 also facilitates player to player trading. Player to player trading is something in the game which I think is really cool, as I've had brief run-ins with players who are happy to trade a few items with me on their way, and I've also met a couple of people who have set up trading posts of their own. From these players, I've acquired some great legendary items, and I've been able to sell unwanted equipment to them for a fair number of caps. The issue is that these vendors don't have a specific place to sell their wares. Normally, it's a case of either travelling around, hoping to find a player willing to barter, or setting up shop at your camp and trying to spread word through Discord, Reddit, or wherever else you can. Even when this is the case, potential customers still have to trek over to your location with whatever equipment they want to sell. What I would like to propose is a trading hub in a set location, where players can go to barter with bots and other players alike. Ideally, a large location, with stands for various vendors to trade with. 
You could also have open stands which players rent out in order to sell items. Make it a small caps payment for them to either stand there and sell items on their own, or have a personalised vendor robot that sells specific items for them from their stash. Personal vendor robots is something that was circulating a fair bit pre-release, and I hope it comes to the game in an update at some point. We don't currently have any news of it, but this would be a great bonus to trading in general. Back to the point about a trading post, and the final thing I've got to say about it is that it would need to be in a highly accessible and relatively safe location. Fortunately, we already have a location where this could be. Pretty much anywhere around Vault 76. Have the trading hub at one of the empty areas near to the starting location, and it would be convenient for everyone, as we can all fast travel outside the vault whenever we feel like. If it wasn't to be outside of Vault 76, then I'd propose it to be inside one of the unopened vaults. This is a bit more of a complicated one, as we don't know for certain when the vaults will open, or what they'll be like. Currently, most of the speculation is geared towards them being high-level dungeons, but honestly, we can't really be certain yet what they're actually going to be about. My final idea for improvement would be to raise the maximum number of caps each player can hold. Currently, this is set at 25,000, and that isn't too bad in the current state of things. I've hit the caps limit myself, but I stopped being so frugal and found I was a fair way away from the limit again. If the trading implementations I have recommended were to be added to the game, I feel a higher caps limit would be needed. Potentially it could work with a 50,000, double the standard, but I personally feel a 100,000 caps limit could still be viable if someone goes all in with trading. Keep in mind you don't really want to reach the caps limit as you stop making money after this point, so it's less a goal to reach and more a notice to tell you to start spending your caps more often. And that's it for the current improvement ideas I have for trading in 76. What did you think of them? Would they help the game out, or do you like the trading system the way it currently is? Keep in mind that Fallout 76 is a live service game. If we want something to change, then we can get a discussion going about it. Let Bethesda know through Twitter, Reddit, or however else, and potentially shape the game for the better. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. Speaking of like this, you can like the video, that was a terrible segue, and feel free to share the video around a bit too. You never know, this video could even make its way to someone at Bethesda and give them a few good ideas. As always, thanks for watching. Sarge out.